less and less. <laughs> Oh man. I don't think I did a video in about a week. I did it, man. You know what I'm saying? Finally got out of that um toxic environment I was in. You know what I'm saying? Probably, you know, got my own place. You know what I'm saying? Got away from that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy because it was like, because it was, um, what's today? Today's Wednesday, so yesterday is when I moved in, and then so Monday and Tuesday, those were some hard fucking days, just because, you know, I guess, you know, I'm still feeling the sense of, you know, obviously, not obviously, but I'm feeling the sense of, you know, I'm uncomfortable, you know what I'm saying? you know, so much change in such a rapid, you know, in such a rapid way and, you know what I'm saying, so much just being different and, you know, new responsibilities, you know what I'm saying, coming upon me, you know, which, you know, obviously, you know, I understood and, you know what I'm saying, but it's still, you know, it's different when, you know, you actually in it, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, cause Monday, I had to, um, and I mean, obviously, like I said, I've been, you know what I'm saying? I, I got, I got a job in, I think mid October and I've been planning since then to, um, to get an apartment. And um, so, you know, obviously, you know, I made sure, you know what I'm saying? Like I had, I, I built the foundation while not here. You know what I'm saying? So I made sure, you know, obviously the first foundation was, you know, where am I gonna be at? You know what I'm saying? What, what do I want my price range to be? You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that was, you know, me, acting like oh you know just certain places or whatever but you know i don't have money for that you know so i stopped looking at that and i actually you know looking at the cheapest stuff you know what i'm saying and it was like okay this is you know this is where we need this is what we want to be doing you know what i'm saying this is where we feel we want to be you know what i'm saying and you know i i kind of you know got real with myself and like okay now you had your fun with that now how much money do you really have you know what i'm saying and it's you know like i say it's, it's sad you know how that type of shit is you know based off of money or you know but yeah i you know i got the foundation for all that shit and i got the foundation you know for you know the shit that i feel i'm gonna need you know for the apartment or you know what's gonna come with it or this this and that so, you know, Monday, you know what I'm saying, that was, I went to Walmart and that's when I was, you know, getting the shit that I needed. You know, as that I felt that I, you know, needed for, you know what I'm saying, the apartment and I don't know, man, it was, it was, it was real stressful, you know, it was real, you know, just, I guess, you know, cause that was, that was the first day that, you know, I moved. Was that Tuesday, was that Monday? Or was that, was that yesterday? Oh fuck, no, that wasn't yesterday. Yeah, no, that, that, no, that shit was Monday. That was the first day that I moved, you know, some of my shit from, you know, the other building 
to over here, you know, and I went to Walmart and, you know, I already made the list because I already knew, you know, what I felt I needed, you know what I'm saying, just to have that foundation rather than just looking, you know what I'm saying, in fucking Walmart and, you know what I'm saying, because they got so much shit in you know, that's why people got all this shit in their house because they got so much shit in stores and so much shit you can get in it. You know, if you got money, you know what I'm saying? People want to spend it and they feel like they want to get creative or whatever. I don't know, but I don't know. I was just, I was, I, was, I feel overwhelmed in a sense. You know what I'm saying? I, I you know, I was, basically freaking out in a way you know what i'm saying it was just you know and i understood because it was like in the moment it was like in the moment of you know what was during that or whatever it was like oh it's because i can't find because i couldn't find you know these i couldn't find certain shit and you know what i'm saying it was you know, and I was using that as my excuse to like, you know, like, what the fuck, or this, this and that, you know what I'm saying? But it was really the, you know, the new responsibilities flooding in, the new shit that I had to worry about, you know, the, the new money problems that I had to worry about, you know, and just me being so uncomfortable and me having to deal with you know, so much shit and me, you know, having to move away from a place that I was comfortable in, you know what I'm saying, regardless of, you know, and it's crazy because it's like, regardless of the situation, you know, that's a place that you're comfortable in within, you know, you and, you know, what you got set up. So, you know, just moving away from that shit is like, you know, it's tough, you know what I'm saying? And, like I say, I understand why some people, you know, stay in a certain relationship or this, this, and that, because within, you know, within themselves or whatever, you know, it's comfortable. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I mean, but I understood that, you know, within the next moment or whatever, it was like, okay, you know what I'm saying? I see, I see what it is, you know what I'm saying? I, and I really had to, you know, calm myself down. I really had to, you know, just just understand that, you know what I'm saying, that this shit is going to be difficult in a way and you are you are uncomfortable and you're going to feel uncomfortable because this is you know little to nothing about, you know, this shit. You know what I'm saying? You haven't been doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? When, you know, you don't first of all, you don't know this Walmart, you know what I'm saying? How many times have you been in this fucking Walmart? You know, all Walmarts aren't the same and you know, shit is gonna be certain places and <laughs> You know what I'm saying? What you thought may, maybe there isn't there or like, like, you know, like I said, I made a list, but you know, when it comes to money and shit, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't able to get everything that I made on the list. So, you know, that was like, fuck, but I really had to lock in and, you know, use that foundation of, you know, wanting that peace of mind and wanting peace of myself. I was like, okay, we know that's what it is. I don't have enough money to get everything so what do we feel we need you know right now you know what i'm saying and then you know what i'm saying that's what i got you know what i'm saying and obviously i was like later on we can get this this and that but for now let's just you know let's just figure this shit out you know what i'm saying and that's and, and that's what it is you know what i'm saying just you know moment moment by moment figuring the shit out and you know the certain shit that's just coming with it, you know what I'm saying? And yesterday, I mean, it was just another another day of, you know, of just, you know, really feeling the pressure. You know what I'm saying? And just, you know, being more uncomfortable and, you know, and you know dealing with shit and it was yesterday was the first obviously my first day and it was the first day I slept here and the first day me being here you know for a senior period of time and it was just you know you're frustrated because you know it's so different from what you know so it's like 
you know, and you're trying to, you know, figure things out and this, this, and that, and, you know, and I, you know, another thing, you know, I made sure to also give myself peace of mind, you know, uh, I think, I don't remember the day, but, you know, I came in and I spent six hours fucking deep cleaning because I knew from my peace of mind that I want to feel, you know what I'm saying, in an environment that's, you know, that I clean, you know what I'm saying? And also, you know, that helps me appreciate it more and make sure I take care of shit more, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, yeah, you know, they supposed to clean this and that, but, you know, they just do like a little wipe down or whatever, but it's crazy, you know, because it should be like the foundational of regardless, you know, how much you pay in the area you're in, you know, the apartment should keep their shit up. They should actually deep clean, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, that's based off of money. That's based off of this, this, and that. And, you know, if you want that, you have to go pay for the good money. And I, I don't know, that's just bullshit within that. But, you know, it was fucking yesterday. I, my sink, you know, the right side of, you know, the kitchen sink, you know, I, I was fucking, you know, I turned the water on and whenever, you know, water goes down on that side, it leaks at the fucking bottom. And I was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck, you know? And, but obviously, you know, I'm saying the apartment, you know, take care of that. And they, you know, cover for that. You know what I'm saying? And in the moment, you know, I was like, oh my God. But then in that next moment, I was like, right now we're just not going to use the right side of the sink. You know what I'm saying? But it was like, because I'm already like, just jumbled up and there's so much in my head you know it's just those you know regardless small or big that i feel it's just those things that's just you know just making me you know kind of go crazy but you know within the next moment you know i catch myself and i'm like okay we just want to use the right side of the sink you know let's test this left side okay nothing dropped from the left side that's fine we'll just use the left side you know what i'm saying and it's just like you know, and the big, big thing was, you know, ever since, um, you know, I mean, well, first of all, there there really wasn't no option. I mean, as far as, you know, apartment, obviously I could have kept searching and looking or this, this and that, but as far as the time I had or this, this and that, you know, this, regardless of what anything was, you know what I'm saying? I was gonna have to figure out, you know what I'm saying? I was gonna have to de de DIY my shit and, you know what I'm saying, figure all this shit out, you know what I'm saying? But the worst thing was the fucking smell. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, and it's not like this, like, wrenching smell. It's just, it's, I don't know. I, I don't know how to describe it, but it's a smell and it's very strong. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, you know, the first time when I walked in here, you know what I'm saying? When I was signing the lease and everything, they were like, oh, you know, go, you know, go check it before you sign the lease or whatever. And, you know, I fucking walked in. I was like, fuck. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, after I did the cleaning, I was like, okay, maybe, you know, but I came the next day and it was still here. So I was just like, you know, I'm just gonna have to, you know, I didn't did the foundation of, okay, I didn't fucking deep clean the fucking rug. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I didn't clean everything. So now it's just a matter of, you know, eliminating the odor, you know what I'm saying? I was like, okay, and I went and I got a candle and I, you know, before I got the candle, I went and I got them little like 99 cents, you know, things that like you unscrew and it's like it has that you know play-doh shit in the middle and it smells or whatever you know i got two of those you know what i'm saying i mean i don't know what the fuck that's that's doing you know what i'm saying within a big smell of this but you know today was you know such a relief when i walked in and you know what i'm saying it you know it wasn't that strong you know what i'm saying and it smelled like the candle a little bit you know what i'm saying and I don't know, that shit just, that shit really relieved me in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Of just like, uh, okay, like, 
you know, we we figured it out and we said we was going to do this and we did it. And, you know what I'm saying, now the smell is going away and we'll know it will take time and this, this, and that. And this is it's just like, it's shit like that, you know what I'm saying? We, we got to be patient and we, you know, we don't know, you know what I'm saying, to a certain extent. So we have to try things and figure this shit out. And I knew, like, I knew I was masking over the smell because, like, I opened the window and you know what I'm saying, it like it faded out a little bit. You know what I'm saying. So I know it's like it's not just sitting in like the rug or it's sitting in. You know, it's not sitting in something. So it's not like oh I stink and I'm putting on cologne or some shit. So it's not like I'm just masking over the odor. You know, it's eliminating the odor. You know what I'm saying? Because I got this you know disinfectant spray that eliminates odor or whatever, but. I mean, I don't know. You know, and today was, you know, oddly, today was the first day that I actually, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess, I mean, yeah, I say oddly because, you know, it's been confirmed for a little bit, but I mean, today was the first day I actually kind of, you know, celebrated you know, myself, you know, for, you know, getting here and, you know, getting the apartment, you know, and, you know, I was just so stressed and, you know, or am stressed, you know, and overwhelmed in a sense, you know, that I didn't, I didn't really get a chance to do that. And I was like, you know, just focusing so much on, you know, what needs to be done and like, make sure I'm checking this or this, this and that, you know what I'm saying? And it's just, you know, I really got to, I really got to say like, oh damn, like you did it. Like, damn, like you, you know what I'm saying? You got yourself out of this situation. Like, damn, you fucking, you know what I'm saying? You put the money where you needed it to be in order to get the apartment. You fucking, you know, you searched. You went through this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, and it's, it's, it's big. You know what I'm saying? When you're, you're choosing healthy, when you're choosing peace of mind. You know what I'm saying? When you say you're going to do something, and, you know, you do it. You know what I'm saying? You know, I always find that huge within myself, you know, and I'd also find it okay, you know, when, you know, I do say I was going to do something and don't do it because, you know, shit happens or my mind changed or whatever. But the fact that, you know, I was able to do it and the fact that I was able to, you know, figure it all out and, you know what I'm saying, like, and it wasn't a, oh, you know, I did it by myself type thing, you know, the... You know, the leasing agent, she, you know, took a chance on me because, you know, listen, I didn't do no credit shit. I don't have no fucking credit. I'm not, you know, I'm not getting no fucking credit card. I'm not doing none of that bullshit. Like, you're not finna try to use my history against me or type shit, anything like that. Like, fuck all that. I think that shit is whack the way they do that. But, you know, she took a chance and she, you know, reviewed my application and, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, you know, I had to pay, you know, down payment and up front or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, she took a chance and, you know, it, you know, you never really do it on your own. You know what I'm saying? It's always, you know, somebody or something happening or just anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, no such thing as you just really doing it on your own, you know, but within the moments when you did, you know, figure it out on your own and did do it on your own, you know, those are those moments, but, I mean, I don't know, it's been tough. You know, and it's, it's not this, you know, okay, now I'm, you know, free in a sense, or now, I'm, you know, I feel so much better, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was still all you knew, 
you know, well, most of what you knew, you know what I'm saying? That was still distance and that. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, it's just so different. You know, all this is so different. You know, like even me fucking, you know, driving on the road and, you know, just not know where I'm going and, you know, having to look at the GPS and, you know, just trying to figure that shit out. That shit is so fucking frustrating. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's shit like that, like that, you know, fucks with me in a sense. And I'm like, but like, like today I was, you know, you know, because, you know, I, I set like certain foundations, you know what I'm saying? Like I go like, cause I went to different Walmarts to see, you know, which one obviously closer and which one, you know, was a route that I want to take or this is that, you know, and I save it in my trials. Well, I name it trials and I save, you know, on like the maps, you can save certain locations and I saved it. And, you know, I saved that Walmart. Now I go to that Walmart and, you know, I didn't go to there today, but I, you know, cause I tried different gas stations, you know, prices and this, this and that, you know what I'm saying? I found one, you know, prices are so fucking high, but I found one for 29 and I saved that one and, you know, I went there today and, you know what I'm saying? Like, it felt better, of, you know, a sense of direction. It felt better to go to a place that I've been to before. And, you know, I felt comfortable in a sense, you know what I'm saying? And, like, you know, I don't know. I find that, you know, better in a sense to, you know, find foundations, you know what I'm saying? And, get comfortable with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause it would be, you know, so fucked mentally going to different, you know, gas stations every time and taking different routes and, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's, un, you know, unnecessary shit to deal with within a sense. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, for a certain situation. Obviously, you know, I don't mind, you know, you know, when, like, when I talk about, that, like, that traveling shit and that journey shit, you know, and traveling and this and that, like, that would be a different situation, different scenario, you know, I'm looking to, you know, go to different places and do this, this and that, you know what I'm saying, and that wouldn't be, like, you know, money-based decisions or, you know, this is where I gotta be or gotta do or this, this and that, you know what I'm saying, it would really be wanting to do or, you know, like, I don't know, I just... You know, that's when I say, like, shit situational. And there's different situations for different things. And, you know, you got to learn how to compare or do this, this, and that. But, I don't know, just the, you know, living with neighbors now. Like, you know, wall-to-wall -wall type. You know, hearing their music, you know what I'm saying? Or just hearing different shit and, you know. I don't know, bro. But yeah, and when I went to the, um, cause I went there yesterday. Cause that's when I got the candle and I got the, um, I got the two baking soda things to put in the fridge and freezer because you know, it fucking smells in there, you know what I'm saying? And I fucking, you know, because when I go to my job, I, uh, you know, I make my sandwich, I make my lunch, you know, sandwich and chips, you know, and I got my chocolate animal crackers, you know, for a snack or whatever. You know, and the sandwich, it tastes like the smell in a fridge, you know what I'm saying? But I know it's gonna, you know, take time and, you know what I'm saying? I, I smelt it, you know, when I came home and, you know what I'm saying? It smelt a little better and, you know, like, I know it just, it isn't going to be this instant thing. But it was like, you know, as far as like that money shit, it was like, you know, I, you know, I set that foundation since way back when, you know, because I understood, you know, regardless you know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, it was, it's been so bad and toxic within that, you know, environment and shit. So I knew I was, 
you know, I was trying to leave or whatever, but, you know, I was still very comfortable and I didn't really understand, you know what I'm saying, that I really wanted to leave and my body really needed to leave, you know what I'm saying? But it was like at, you know, cause I think I got my first job at 15. It was like at 15, I, you know, I paid for, you know, SoundCloud, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it was just $10, but, you know, I wanted to create this foundation of make sure you always got the $10 to pay for the SoundCloud, you know, and then, you know, then I got, you know, Apple Music, then now I got to pay 20, make sure you got the 20, you know, and then I got this, then I got that, you know what I'm saying, or different things that I wanted to pay for, and I got to make sure, you you know, I have enough money to pay for that, you know, prior, prior, prioritize it, whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it went into, you know, phone bill. Make sure you got enough to pay for the phone bill, you know? And, you know, just me building that foundation, you know, regardless of the amount, you know, really helped me, you know, with this and being able to, you know, pay for this and prioritize this and not just spending money because I have money, you know what I'm saying? And being able to, you know, because it's already a habit and it's been my lifestyle for so long and I've practiced it for so long and being able to know, okay, I need this, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to prioritize this, you know what I'm saying? I'm not spending this and I'll make sure I have a little more than that, you know, so when I do spend it, I'll have, you know, and it's like, you know, that's helped me, you know, save money and, you know what I'm saying? It was like, it's, because, I mean, I haven't bought fast food in like, two years or something like that, you know what I'm saying, I used to, you know, because, I mean, what, 15, 16, I mean, you know, I'm buying fast food, I'm buying clothes, I'm buying, you know, I'm buying all this shit, because, I mean, you know, I didn't understand the severity to a certain extent of the situation, you know what I'm saying, and I didn't, you know, because I was just like, oh, well, this is my life, I'm just dealing with it, you know what I'm saying, so I was, you know, I was buying whatever, and, you know, I was spending spending a crazy amount of money, crazy amount of money, like I was making that much. But to me, I mean, it was definitely a lot, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, but when it came to, you know, rent or this, this and that, I was like, okay, you know, I know what I need to prioritize. I know how this should be. I know how I do this, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, well, yeah, during that time, I was like, okay, during that time of me stopping the buying of fast food, I was just like, I'm just done buying fast food. You know, I'm spending this money on this fast food. Why? You know what I'm saying? Like, why do I need to do that? You know, and yeah, during that time, I think, well, maybe it was before, I don't know. But as far as job, you know, I was, I think I was always taking my lunch. Cause I wasn't gonna go nowhere on my break to go to a fucking fast food place. Like, bitch, I need to sit down. You know what I'm saying? I need to regain. But I mean, yeah, I don't fucking eat fast food. I don't buy the. I don't buy that shit. And we shouldn't be contributing to that shit anyways. You know what I'm saying? And we should be whipping some up at home. And you know, obviously, you know, I still haven't you know, change what I eat or whatever, you know, money-wise, and, you know, I'm, you know, I'm trying to get comfortable money-wise, you know, especially right now, having to, you know, spend so much on this, this, and that, you know what I'm saying, but I know I got to spend this in order, you know, to have that foundation and to know, you know, that okay, I have this now and I won't need to buy it until like fucking eight months or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause you know, I bought like, you know, the cleaning shit and stuff like that or just, you know, just, you know, or, you know, like my shower curtain, you know, like shit like that. Like, I know I'm a, I had a shower curtain, you know what I'm saying? For X amount, like, you don't really just throw that shit away. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I want a fucking shower curtain that last few years. But it's like, like today, you know what I'm saying? Today was my dinner day. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I, I portion my food and, um, 
you know, I don't have dinner every day. You know, I just eat snack or something, you know, go to bed and wait till, you know, cereal in the morning. But it's like, you know, you gotta figure out, you gotta understand your situation. You gotta see, you know, what what do you have to sacrifice? You gotta see, you know, what, you know, what do, you know what I'm saying? What do you gotta do? What do you, what do you gotta do? What, what do you gotta do? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, even like my dinner today, it was, you know, grilled cheese, you know what I'm saying? It's not like, I'm just, you know, whipping it up or this, this and that, you know what I'm saying? Cause like I said, that shit costs money and it's crazy how, you know, that shit is based off of money, you know what I'm saying? Because of course, you know, there's times where I want to, you know, just eat, you know, I want to eat shit, but you know, I don't have money and you know what I'm saying? You know, I tell myself I don't have money, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, cause I'm, you know, prioritizing something else, you know what I'm saying? Obviously I got money for, you know, a little bit of, whatever, but obviously, regardless, you know what I'm saying, that shit builds up, you know what I'm saying, and it's like, then, you know, I got money for that, but then I don't have money for this, you know what I'm saying, so then it's really, oh, I don't have money, you know, and it's like, I don't know, nigga, but shit, I was, uh, I was cooking on that fucking, you know, because I got an electric stove. Is that, is that shit supposed to smoke? <laughs> listen, I turned, listen, I turned my shit. It was on the front left one. I turned that bitch on. That bitch got to, it was it was on for a good maybe three minutes. I'm, I'm trying to butter my bread. I turn around. <laughs> that shit smoking. This shit was smoking out of the knob, too. I'm like, all right, let me turn this shit on. Because <laughs> this shit started fire. I'm not burning. First of all, I'm not burning this bitch up, but I'm not burning this fucking apartment complex up. But then I was like, then I dropped the uh, front right one. And I was like, all right, let me take this one slower. I started on two, motherfucker. I started on two, then I went to three, then I went to four. Then it smoked a little bit, then that bitch settled down. <laughs> Then it smoke some more. But I, I put it, cause it smoked on four, but it settled down. I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna put this shit on. So I put this shit on, but I was here, that shit was cooking way too fucking slow. So really I fucked up my grilled cheese, cause you know what I'm saying? I didn't have it right, but I think I, I, think I went to six. And then I, I think that's where I'm gonna be at when I do it again. You know what I'm saying? But it's trial and errors. You know what I'm saying? Now I know, you know, six, you know, is going to be the minimum where we should be at. And then we'll go from there and see, you know what I'm saying, time and, you know. But, you know, the more you figure it out is you, you fucking do it and, you know, you okay with, you know, okay, you know, it was fucked up. You know, I didn't have it as crisp as I wanted or this, this, and that. But, you know, I was still able to, you know, eat. And, you know, I ate it, obviously, and you know what I'm saying? I'm good until, you know, until I eat cereal or whatever. And it's like, you know, I mean, you know, it's, you know, I, I don't know. I find it sad. You know what I'm saying? Like when I talk about that shit, like this shit, that shit touched me. Cause it's like, you know, it's fucked. You know, that you're not able to eat dinner every night. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's fucked how many people, you know what I'm saying, don't eat every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's like, you know, like I say, I don't, I don't feel you should ever compare yourself with them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm eating you know, this many times a day and they're not eating this, you know what I'm saying? I should feel shitty. Like, no, bro, like, this is your situation and that's their situation. Can you be compassionate in a way and can you try to help in the best way you can? Sure, but, you know, to feel shitty about sh what you eat and doing, you know, and to, to not eat because you feel shit, like, 
Like, what about you? You know what I'm saying? That's why I say the what about you. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just, that just, that's not the way to do it. You know? But, you know, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, a new journey. Not a new journey, I mean, shit. New journey within something, you know. Still on, obviously, the me journey, of course. And, you know, I mean, it's just figuring shit out, trial and error, you know. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I got this, I got my fucking ring light because it don't have, you know, there's no light in, like, the center. You know, there's light for the bathroom and the kitchen, but there's no light for the center. I got this blanket on, but really it's, I mean, it's not cold, but it's not hot. Because I keep my shit on, like, I think it's on 76 right now. You know, just as far as saving electricity, you know what I'm saying? Nobody got time for, you know, putting it, you know, super cold where their AC got to push and, you know, that makes the price go up and this, this, and that, like, it's just, Shit, I'm hot, you know what I'm saying? You know, just you know, figure it out. But yeah, that shit crazy. You know, and I, I know I'm going like, you know, just as more, sh like, more shit start falling into place that I want and this and that. Obviously, I'm going to, you know, feel better within a sense. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm, I, I keep, you know, talking to myself and, you know, letting myself know that, you know, just be patient. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and I talk, talk with myself, you know, through situations and through moments and, you know what I'm saying? Just to to have that peace of mind and like be like, okay, this is this, but you know, do we want this or that? Do we, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, it really helps. You know what I'm saying? It really helps me understand the situation and understand, you know, to a certain extent of what is, you know, and what I want to do with what is or this, this and that, you know? Rather than, you know, me just, you know, feeling that certain feeling for the situation and not really, you know, addressing it or processing it in a certain way. You know, and it's like, I don't know. You know, it's still, you know, shit I gotta figure out, you know. It's still shit, you know, that I'm waiting to get because, you know, fucking, you know, and it sucks, you know, living paycheck to paycheck. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, and even with like, you bro, like the foundation of, you know, me because, you know, when I was at the, you know, the other building, you know, I was, you know, you know, I decided that, you know what I'm saying, I was gonna, you know, buy my own groceries, you know what I'm saying, I took it, you know, like at first I was buying my own milk, you know what I'm saying, then I was like, okay, I'll buy my own cereal, you know what I'm saying, and I took it step by step, and then eventually, you know what I'm saying, I was buying my whole, all my groceries, you know what I'm saying, and it's just, you know, you gotta understand, you gotta take things step by step, and things are gonna take time, you know, and you gotta, you know, use that foundation of, you know what I'm saying? Okay, how much did I have for the milk? You know what I'm saying? How much do I need for the milk? Okay, let's have that. Then you add the cereal. Okay, how much do I need for the milk? And then you add everything. Okay, how much do I need for everything? You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that would, that's, that would really gave me, like, the peace of mind of, you know, having, you know, me already doing that. You know what I'm saying? And been doing that. You know, and it just, it easily transfers over here. 
You know what I'm saying? Because, like, that already know. I already know the price. I already know, you know, what I need. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I'm chilling on that end. You know what I'm saying? And that's something I don't have to worry about to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, I really, I really fell back on, like, you know, just foundational shit I already had in place. You know what I'm saying? And just, you know, the habits I already have. And, you know, I really fell back on that. You know what I'm saying? Just doing different shit and how I had, you know, shit set up or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yeah, I can still transfer that over here. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, to be honest, yesterday I was, I was really out of whack. You know, as far as just like foundational and habits, like I was, you know, on my habit shit, I, you know, on certain shit that I've been you know, working on it is and I really reverted back to, you know, just the old ways of, you know, doing shit, you know, just as far as like I was in the shower and, you know, I was talking about, you know, you be in the shower, you know, you have a routine of this and that, you know, I went back to, you know, something that I've been trying to change. I just, I went back to it without even thinking, you know what I'm saying? It was just certain shit that I usually do that I didn't, that I didn't do, you know what I'm saying? Because even though it was the same routine or habit in a sense, it wasn't the same because, you know, it's now in a different location, you know, it's now different movement, you know, it's, so it was like, it wasn't the same and I was, you know, missing certain shit and, you know what I'm saying? And I gotta, you know, practice in the new area, you know what I'm saying? It's new to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I know the basic controls, but, you know, the, this map is different. So I got to, you know, know where to go and know this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you know, that'll take time and this and that, you know. But, you know, I've, I've talked to myself, you know, within this shit or, you know, sometimes I think about, like, when I'm talking to myself, like, sometimes I be like, you know, I'll be like, what if I recorded this? Or I don't know. Just to, you know, kind of put it in perspective or whatever. I don't know, but. I mean, it's not. I mean, I feel it's not needed. Hmm. You know, and I feel, man. You know, within certain situations, obviously, yeah. But. I feel I really, you know, I feel like I need myself, you know, in those moments then rather than, you know, bringing something else in and, you know, kind of distracting in a sense or whatever. You know, just, you know, kind of taking away from the moment in a sense. I don't know. I mean, shit's so situational. I, mean, I, I haven't done it, so it's not like... I know whether it actually takes away or whether, you know, it's just a person recording. But, you know, I don't, uh, I don't really want to do that. You know, I just think about it. You know, we think about a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? And then, if you're like, you don't want to do it, you know, you got to move on, you know, move past it. You know, but that fucking candle is burning all the time. <laughs> Bro, as soon as I get home, I fucking light that fucking candle up. I don't have time for this fucking smell, bro. And, like, my when I fucking put my mask on, the smell is just in my fucking mask. Like, ugh. I have to, like, I have to, like, breathe, you know what I'm saying? Or fed it out in the outside. And, you know, eventually goes away, like, you know, after fucking an hour or something. And it's like, ugh. I just don't like the smell. Yeah, I don't know though. You know, we we figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know. All oh, this shit is just crazy. And, you know, and it's, it's it's really, you know, showing me, you know, like, why I really say I feel like, 
you know, relationships are important and healthy relationships are important. Just, you know, having, you know, people in your lives, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you know, it's just in certain moments, you know what I'm saying? You know, you want to, you know, lean on this person. You want to, you know, just go talk to this person and see what they say and have a different brain on it or just, you know, just want to move away from all this shit you're dealing with and just, you know, be with them and chill or talk to them or, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, really me, you know, just, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I guess I kind of always felt that way. I just really felt it within the sense of, you know, just the shit that I, you know, that I'm dealing with, you know what I'm saying? That it's so new. So it's like, yeah, obviously, you know, I, 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 I am figuring out and I'll figure it out. It was just, you know, you want to be able to go to somebody, you know, and see what they say. And, you know, they may have experience or whatever. And it's just like. I don't know. Shit is crazy though. This shit is crazy though. Like, I really like, I don't know. You know, I'm just, you know, It's new. We we know little to nothing about it. We gotta practice. We gotta you know see where the peace is. See where we feel comfortable. How can we get comfortable? You know. You know, and that's why, you know, you know, and I think, I think I'll talk about, like, Twitch later or, you know, something like that, but, you know, or just, you know, YouTube video or whatever, you know, just, you know, I just think Twitch is so cool because, you know, it's, it's live and, you know, you feel like, you know, you're within a community and you're within, you know, people all at the same time and, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're just, you're, you're, you're literally there with them. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I don't know, you know, I was making my grilled cheese, you know, I, I turn on Twitch and, you know, I just, you just feel, you know, I don't know, you know, you just, like that shit that, you know, that I got to deal with or that I'm thinking about, you know, as far as, you know, pertaining to this or whatever, you know, the shit that, you know, I don't give a fuck about it. And that's only because of this world and this money bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, I can just be there, you know, with those people that's in that stream and the streamer. And it's just like, I don't know. We're just there in that moment. We just chilling. You know what I'm saying? I don't know yet, but that's why I just said like relationships, you know, healthy relationships, you know, people you're close with, I think it's cool. Shit, bro, I got the fucking shower yesterday. Shit, I'm hearing thumping in the refrigerator. Or I just heard thumping and then obviously I located it in the refrigerator and I'm like, at first I wasn't gonna check it. I was like, I guess it's just the sound of the refrigerator, but I'm like, no, you gotta fucking check it. You know what I'm saying? This is on you. This is, you know, where you gonna be keeping your fucking food. You know, figure out what this shit is. Figure out the sound. What is going on? And it was water leaking or whatever. I don't know. I don't fucking know. But I turned the knob to colder and it hasn't leaked since. So. You know, which actually was on me because. 
the thing was on, like, the cold is here, and then the storm on, then it's colder. So I thought, because the thing was on colder, but the shit wasn't that cold. So I turned it to normal, thinking, you know, left to right. You know what I'm saying? It will get colder as I go to the right. You know, so I went in the middle to normal, but obviously that made it get hotter. It made, you know, the water drip. So then I turned it to colder. And then I learned, don't put that shit on normal, have it on colder, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, and I can't like, you know, get mad at myself for like, for some shit I don't know. You know what I'm saying? And that was like in Walmart, like I had to understand like, nigga, you do not know this store. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you know, you don't know this, this and that. You know what I'm saying? You don't know this fucking road you're on. You don't know, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, the shit that goes on, you know, with renting something and, you know, having a, you know, checkup on if your fucking sink is leaking and this is that, you know what I'm saying? You don't know. But within these experiences and the opportunities that arise, do you take them and do you know now? Do you try to learn, you know, now? Do you, you know what I'm saying? You know, and I really have to tell myself that, you know what I'm saying? Really, like, nigga, you don't know, you know what I'm saying? But it's like within, you know, those moments or like just later, you know, in a different moment, you know, I really had to, you know, sit. But, you know, I, I feel like this is, you know, it's, I feel, you know, it's good for me. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, this is where I'm going to be and this is what I wanted to do, you know what I'm saying? So I can't, you know, I can't run from, I can't, you know, give myself excuses, you know, like, because with the smell, you know, I I was going to give myself the excuse to stay where I was at, you know, in that building until the smell was gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, you know, you know, it's just shit. You know, you want to convince yourself because you want to stay in that comfortable spot of where you're at and where you've been at and, you know, the roles that you do know or this, this, and that. And it's like, no, you got to, you know, you got to get away, you know especially when it's that certain situation. But, you know, just like, you know, when I talked about those, you know, desires or whatever, you know, like, you know, like when you're on a road and you want to hit somebody's car, but it's like, you're not thinking about, oh, that person get hurt. Oh, I can get hurt. Oh, this, this and that. Oh, I'm going to have to pay for that. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You're not thinking about none of that. You're just thinking about hitting a fucking car. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, when you know, within the comfortable shit, you're just thinking about you being comfortable. You're not thinking of, you know, what's around that comfortability, what's around, you know, you're not thinking about that. You just think about you just being comfortable. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, it's, I feel it's true to me, you know, I feel it's true to, you know, people, you know, in certain relations and situations, you know, people be like, you know, why don't they just, you know, cause they feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you got to be willing to choose you. You got to be willing to see what's around that comfortability. You got to be willing to understand that there's a person in a car and they can get hurt. You know what I'm saying? You got to be, you you got to step outside of that and see that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I still don't know, like, the parameters of, like, if they can hear me or how loud am I, you know what I'm saying? I mean, but, you know, I don't really like, you know, it's not like I'm just loud as fuck. So it's like, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, and I was like, you know, to sleep, you know, I was like, you know, I could turn it on 72 or whatever, like, you know, because it's just going to be during when I'm sleeping, you know, we could, you know, it's not going to increase the electricity that much, but shit, but, you know, the way that shit is set up, that shit blowing right on me, it's, it's too fucking cold, I was like, so we not going to do that.
you know, obviously I sit, you know what I'm saying? Before I went to sleep, I didn't lay down and like, oh, go to sleep and just let this shit blow me. You know, I said, I was like, okay, do I feel, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm like, I'm gonna be under a comfort or whatever. I was like, maybe it'll be hot at 76, you know what I'm saying? But I was like, okay, we not doing 72. And then I turned that shit to 73. And I don't know, I feel good at 73, so I did 73, so I'm gonna do 73 tonight again, and, you know, some change, if I feel, you know, too cold or some shit like that, then I'll change it, you know what I'm saying, but trial and error. LeBron been hooping. <laughs> this nigga LeBron. This nigga 105 hooping. <laughs> My nigga been in the league 40 years. Bro, this nigga been this nigga LeBron been in the league as old as I am. Fuck that shit makes sense. This nigga on year 19. Fuck that shit makes sense. I mean hooping. He's hooping. The clown. What? None of that. He's hooping. That shit is crazy. Like, and, you know, those niggas in the NBA, like, they not some shitty niggas. Like, I don't know, bro. That nigga is like, he... And he, he's so consistent. He's so fucking consistent, bro. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, you, you know, but then everybody, you know, you have a, you know, few, few rough games. You know what I'm saying? But my nigga's so consistent. It's tough. And it's so crazy, you know, because, like, statistic-wise, of this isn't that. He shouldn't be doing it. You know what I'm saying? But that's why, like, I, I say, like, everybody different, you know what I'm saying? So we shouldn't be like, oh, he shouldn't be doing it. You know what I'm saying? Can we still appreciate the greatness? Can we still appreciate that my nigga going out there and dropping 30? You know what I'm saying? Can we still appreciate that? Of course. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, and it sucked that at year 19, he still got to fucking play 40 minutes and drop 30 for the team to fucking win. Why? Like, can't nobody step up to the fucking plate? <laughs> God damn. Still having to carry niggas. Like, regardless of what niggas say about... You know, big three, super team, all this bullshit they, they say about LeBron... Listen, it, 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 he didn't have to carry it. Listen, you know what I'm saying? Like, this motherfucker, you know, he got every category. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have to carry everybody. You know, like, so that's super team bullshit. You know, it's a super team. He not, he not the best in every category. It's a fucking super team. You know what I'm saying? He don't got the top numbers in every category if it's a super team. So that shit is dead. But niggas been practicing that hating for so long that they can't, they feel like they can't stop hating on that nigga. It's just so fucking odd to me. Now how, you, how can you just hate on somebody? How can you be happy that somebody, you, you know, you know, that you, you know, they, you feel like they failed and they feel like they failed, you know, and they say they feel like they failed and you, you know, you feel happy from that. Like, what the fuck is that shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, they, like niggas really, like, hate him. Like, they probably fucking hoping he like get injured or something you know what I'm saying like on some crazy shit like you know what I'm saying like you supposed to you you know you supposed to love the game 
you know what I'm saying? And within what LeBron doing for the game and how he represented the game, like, you should appreciate him even more. But, I don't know. Niggas don't know what they want. They don't know what they thinking. They don't know what, what it is. They, they can't see what's right in front of them. Crazy. <sighs> yeah, what I haven't got though, like I haven't went on. Uh... Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I was thinking about some other shit. Like, like I'm gonna say what I was gonna say, but I was, but I said no nah, because I was. What I haven't got, nigga, is the fucking. Is this you know wall cleaner shit? You know, because obviously that shit costs money. And right now, it's just you know what I'm saying. We you know we had such a low number. You know, in just case anything happened, we want to have that to fall back on or whatever. So, you know, I just got to chill with, you know, so much shit. But it's like, that was the last step, you know what I'm saying? As far as, you know, cleaning. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, you know, because you want to clean your walls, you know, especially, you know, you don't know what, what's going on in here and this, this and that, so. You know, you want to obviously try to clean as much as you can. <clears throat> Damn. Mm. Yeah. I don't really know. I guess I'm fucking with this setup shit. I don't know, coach. Fucking you fucking with the setup. I'm not in my car. I'm in me mom's car. I'm not in my car. I don't know, bro. You know, it's just... It's, 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 it's a hard feeling. I know, but, you know, I'm expressing what I, you know, I feel like I'm feeling. So it's like, you know, that's all I can do. Yeah, but I really, I really feel like I, I wanted to, um, you know, I felt like I really, I really wanted to, you know, come on here and, you know, talk, you know what I'm saying? You know, because, you know, I've been doing it with myself, you know, all of it has been out loud or, you know. You know, I don't know. You know, and it hasn't been in this setting and you know what I'm saying. And I haven't done this in a while, you know, so I really wanted to just do this and you know I don't know. You know, 'cause it's a it's obviously a want, you know. I have, you know, even throughout, you know, having been doing them, you know, obviously you know, just been dealing with other shit and doing other shit. So it's like, you know, when I'm not, you know, I'm fucking exhausted. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, 
I mean, you know, right now, you know, I'm tired, but you know what I'm saying? I, I, I was, you know, I was really able to, you know, set aside, you know, and really like, okay, this is going to be my busy, you know what I'm saying? You know, and that's why I be trying to tell people, you know, when they be like, oh, I'm busy or this or that, you know, like you choose what your busy is. You know what I'm saying? Like, fucking, you're my busy. You know what I'm saying? Like, they be like, oh, I'm busy. Like, oh, you're not fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not an excuse or some shit like that. Like, obviously, like, yeah, you're doing shit or this, this, and that. But, you know, when it's this thing of just, you know, you're not even there. You know what I'm saying? When it's this thing of, you know, going days or, you know, consecutive days of just, you know, barely this and that. It's like, well, then, you know, I don't have time for that shit. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I create my busy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I knew, like, I had to, you know, clean. I knew I had to, you know, I felt I had to, you know, go get, you know, the shit from Walmart, you know what I'm saying? So I could have this, this, and that. You know, I knew I had to, you know, go deal with this. And that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I knew I had to. You know, I knew I had to, you know, go to my fucking job. You know what I'm saying? To, you know, live in a place. To eat. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy how I will be. And it's based off of money. I, I keep, I don't know. crazy though is this shit too close on the shop cause I was far back in the car Fucking hold the candle is liquid. <laughs> the whole fucking thing. <laughs> when I tell, oh my god, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm fucking running that candle. You know what I'm saying? Like when I tell you, there is a smell. There is a smell. Bro, I just felt so relieved. Like my eyes got watered when I walked in and fucking and just you know just smelled it was gone just a little bit. Like. Ugh. It was just like, you know, because, you know, I don't want to fucking be in something smelling like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to smell that shit. And I was just like, oh, yes, like, shit is working. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. <sighs> Nobody should have to go through this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I shouldn't be dealing with this shit. You know, people shouldn't be dealing with the shit they're dealing with. Like, you know, no, bro. Damn, I can't show the sky. <laughs> yeah, and like, obviously it's nighttime right now, but like, obviously during the daytime, I got the blinds open, you know what I'm saying? But usually I'm at the, you know, I'm at the job or whatever, I don't know. Days off, you know, I got the blinds open. Like, you know, I feel like it's better to have the blinds open, you know, I feel, you know, more connected in a sense, you know, with nature or whatever. And, 
you know, I just feel, you know, it's better to have a, you know, natural light in, you know, a bright room or just, you know, if it is, you know, a little gloomy outside or a little dark and it's raining, you know, I'm able to see that and, you know what I'm saying, rather than controlling to a certain extent, you know, your, you know, your scenery or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Cause just having, you know, the blinds closed, you know what I'm saying? When it's, you know, light outside or whatever, you know, or sun outside or, you know what I'm saying? Even, you know, during nighttime, you know, depends where you're at and, you know, if you want blinds over, you know, whatever, I don't know. But, you know, don't really, don't really want to be in a dark place all the time. I don't know. She have so much shit to say, you know. All, all, always so much shit to say, always. This shit was good, though. This shit was cool, though. You know. Shit was dope. Shit was dope. Dope, dope, dope. No, what I was gonna say was I ain't got no Sky to show. Did I, did I say that? I don't fucking know. Shit, like even, even this, like I feel like I wanna be back in the car during the daytime, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not as, you know, uncomfortable or whatever, obviously, because, you know, that wasn't for that long, you know what I'm saying? Like, and even within, you know, the situation of what this is, you know, I feel like, you know, that doesn't really matter because... You know what I'm saying? Actually, yeah. I, I don't think there's no sense of uncomfortability within this. I think it's just, you know, the uncomfortability that I've been feeling with this. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, because within this, you know, this, this is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You know, like I said, when I was at the other place, you know, I was like, I can go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, because cause this is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And that's it, you know, regardless of where I'm at, regardless this, this, and that, you know, I wonder how loud that shit was, shit, that, make a nigga fall asleep hearing that white noise, <laughs> shit crazy, yeah, but shit, every time I sniff in, I smell that shit, like, that shit's still, that shit's still lingering, Ooh. Uh, I just, I don't know how to describe it. I'm over it, though. Yeah, and it's like, bro, the fucking cabinets, they like, I put that Play-Doh thing in there or whatever. You know, I smell things, so hopefully you can just, you know. I mean, because, you know, it's like, I mean, Regardless of what I got in there, you know, I don't want to fucking open a cabinet and, you know, just have a, you know, that certain scent come out, you know, and it's, it's not like it's just like, you know, it, it, it didn't came from previous shit, you know what I'm saying, like, that's not just no, like, it didn't came from previous shit, I don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck, that didn't came from previous shit. Oh. oh my god. Alright. <laughs> I just. So much shit, bro. Evaluate, work, change, grow. Evaluate, work, change.